All right, why did these two receptacles outlets fail and how to wire these properly so it doesn't happen to you and you don't have to call uh, service guys like me to troubleshoot your circuit after doing a little bit of a home improvement, electrical home improvement. So let's dive into it. So relatively, as you can tell, these two outlets are new. So they haven't been serving for 10, 20 years and then they failed. These were installed very recently and both of them failed two different ways. And in a typical home, uh, 15 amp circuit, you have a uh, power coming into outlet, going out, going into another outlet, and that daisy chain. I tried to save some of you guys in front of your wives or uh, girlfriends when you mess up something, and then in a couple weeks, you call a guy, an electrician, to fix what you have done. So this outlet, you can see pretty much was burning and um, you can see it's relatively new outlet. Same thing with this one. It basically, um, well, luck luckily it didn't, I mean, it didn't cause any fire hazard. Uh, it just stopped working, both of them, but it could have been much worse than that. Why did this, these two scenarios happen? So scenario first, um, as you can see, this one started melting on one terminal right here and by the screw you can tell it was a hot terminal that's where the power was going through but a lot of people a lot of electricians have already told you not to use backstabbing method uh, because they fail it doesn't happen super super often this is first one um, you know why it failed and I'll show you how to properly connect them so it doesn't happen. Uh, this one failed a little bit different. It was connected just like I did right here. And you can see uh, it's not backstabbed. It basically connected the side terminals. How did it fail? So this outlet, as you can see, 15 amp, 125 volts, was installed in the kitchen. This was protected by GFCI in the kitchen circuit I would recommend if the electrical, if the breaker is 20 amp, GFCI is 20 amp, to install 20 amp uh, outlet. So that was the first of their mistake. And mistake number two was they did not strip the wire enough. So this outlet was not making full contact with the terminals, with side terminals of the outlet uh, and basically started slowly melting because it was arcing. Just to demonstrate to you guys how they wired this outlet is basically one of these terminals, the one that failed uh, right here, it had a connection like this where you can see clearly they didn't strip the wire enough and it wasn't screwed tightly that's number two and slowly this started melting because it wasn't making full contact with the contact with the plate of that or that screw is going in so that was the mistake number two and the right way of preventing both of scenarios so okay that's totally fine if you are gonna utilize this method where you can use, uh, where you use these two side terminals in and out, but remember one thing, electrical outlet wire like this, uh, basically power is flowing through the outlet. So you have line coming in, coming out. So even though um, you're not using this outlet, but you're using everything else down the line, basically on the load side with your other outlets. If you have any loose connection here, um, this will fail because wherever the weakest or poorest connection you made in the circuit, that's where it's gonna fail because power is trying to flow through this outlet. So to minimize the risk of that happening, I recommend pigtailing. And when you pigtail, please, 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 when you're connecting two wires together, three wires together, 
just get rid of this cheap crap, okay? That comes with your basically whatever device you buy online. They sent uh, some wire nets that are super cheap and these are not uh, rated to connect uh, power outlets like this, okay? This is for the lighting and this is for basically end of the circuit where your lighting is not consuming too much of a current power amps flowing through this. So do not use these. Select proper wire nuts to connect two wires, three wires together and use only wire nets, okay? I know sometimes when you have a short wires, a lot of people go uh, use Vago and or maybe this type of a connectors, but I have seen them fail many, many times where basically just like this situation. This is the first electrical junction box basically from the panel where power comes in. They have basically two, three wires going in here and they have done everything correctly, pigtailed, but instead of outlet failing, this will fail. This will start melting because there's so much power is trying to go through. I know this is rated, this could be rated for 20 amp, 30 amp, but as soon as one of these wires get loose, it will start arcing, it will st uh, start creating heat, and this is cheap crap, guys. Just, just, I would not uh, recommend using uh, Vago or these type of connectors, just traditional wire nuts, okay? Good wire nuts also, okay? Don't go with cheap stuff. Uh, these are not expensive, by the way. I'm just saying not to use anything that comes in a packaging with all your devices. Instead of basically letting uh, power go through the outlet, I recommend basically just feeding the outlet and not letting power flow through this outlet at all times, even when you're not utilizing this outlet. So the pigtailing method, I know this is completely legal and it may not give you a trouble down the line, but if something happens when you have just a pair of uh, wires going to the outlet, I mean, if this fails, this is the only thing you have to take care of and you don't have to troubleshoot to find out where the circuit failed because if something is wrong here, uh, you, you have a loose connection with this outlet. I mean, this is the only thing you have to address. And when you have a pigtailed circuit where you have a pair of wires connected together with the wire nut and then coming one pair of wire coming into the outlet, um, it's very rare I have seen uh, these type of pigtailing methods fail with the wire nut. But I have seen many of them that failed where they have used these and make sure when you strip the wires also you strip them just enough so it covers this area it doesn't stick out too much just like I did here so make sure you wire them properly so that's the video I hope you like it don't forget to subscribe to the channel and I will see you guys in the next video thank you